666, the number of the beast. Tin hypothesis. The biblical book of Revelation describes the beast, a coming, ten-nation coalition, led by a master of deceit. The beast causes all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on their right hand or on their forehead, so that no one can buy or sell, unless he has the mark, that is, the name of the beast, or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. For 1900 years, clever interpreters have tried to calculate the name of the beast, proposing hundreds of names and numbers. Their usual method, called isopsphism in Greek and gematria in Hebrew, was to assign a numerical value to each letter of a name, then to add up those values. However, this often entailed arbitrary schemes that gave desired results. Greek isopsphism assigned the values 600 to the letter key, 60 to xi and 6 to sigma. Thus, the numerical equivalents of the letters key, xi and sigma add up to 666. For example, the numerical equivalents of the Greek spelling of the Roman emperor, Nero Caesar, transliterated into Hebrew, add up to 666. However, Nero Caesar died and the Roman Empire collapsed, without becoming the end times beast. Today, few expect the beast to take a Greek name. The Roman numerical system assigned these numerical values to certain letters, I equals 1, V equals 5, X equals 10, L equals 50, C equals 100 and D equals 500. A same or smaller value, written after a higher one, adds to it, and a smaller value written before a higher one, subtracts from it. Thus, the years 2014, 2015 and 2016 would be written in Roman numerals as MMXIV, MMXV and MMXVI. However, this cumbersome system has proven useful neither for mathematics nor for calculating human names. Since ancient times, Semitic societies have employed letters of their alphabet to represent numerical values, calling this wisdom. This tradition continued with the writers of cuneiform, Hebrew, Persian, Arabic and other texts. The Hebrews in particular developed complex numerical representations of their sacred scripture, both as a way of ensuring accurate transmission of texts, and as a basis for analyzing the visible and invisible worlds. From antiquity, Hebrew gematry was assigned numerical values to alphabetical letters, as follows. Final Mami equals 600, Tau equals 400, Samak equals 200, Rish equals 60 and Vu equals 6. The Hebrews had two ways of representing 600, 1, Mum alone, and 2, Tau followed by Rish, reading from right to left. Thus, the number 666 can be written in two ways, 1, MSW and 2, TRSW Semitic texts and names are often written only as consonants, without vowels. Thus, on the one hand, the calculated, consonantal, Hebrew name of the beast, may prove to be MSW or TRSW. On the other hand, should the beast arise from an Arab or Persian milieu, then the numerical system varies from the Hebrew one. Arabs and Persians, historically, have assigned numerical values to their alphabets, as follows. Ka equals 600, Sin equals 60 and Wa equals 6. In this case, the calculated, consonantal, Arabic al name of the beast, may prove to be KSW, 